Before reading Ayn Rand, I had tried writing and I had tried making film and stuff, but I was pretty much a modernist in writing. I had no idea kind of what I wanted to write. Whenever I wrote, it was just meaningless uh, stories and meaningless dialogue for characters. And the more meaningless I got it, the more... Uh, deep you got. The more deep I got. <laughs> I filmed like a psychological short film in my room when, when I was a teenager and I showed it to a friend and he was like, huh, you know, I don't understand any of this, but it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> but once I had discovered Ayn Rand and started reading the Romantic Manifesto, it became clear to me what the actual purpose of artistic expression is. It's about expressing your sense of life. It's about expressing your philosophy. And then there's like all sorts of lesser uh, fundamental things. Like she has an own book, which is called The Art of Fiction. A Guide for Writers and Readers, which is a book basically describing how you create plots, how you integrate theme and characters and stuff into a story as a whole. 